hi guys welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is bailey feel free to hit that subscribe button follow me on tiktok and instagram for more content at bailey M. stewart today's video is a review of buff bunny's new snack collection which is dropping may 18th at 1 p.m cst i'll have all the time zones right here so you don't miss out code bailey it does save you money on your order it saves you 10 percent plus it does help support me so if you do use my code make sure to screenshot and send it to me so i can personally say thank you and make sure to enter my monthly giveaway this month for may i'm giving away a 500 dollars giveaway so we have three winners of a hundred dollar gift cards and then we have four winners for a 50 dollars buff bunny or defined gift card um unfortunately it was really, and i don't think one up do gift cards um but yeah if you use my code bailey for buff bunny lazuli define one up or code bailey s for hydro jug that all counts counts as a giveaway entry so i'll have the link to enter down in the description if you do use my code again thank you so much do not feel pressure to shop like buff bunny always has drops so even if you don't get something now like there will always be something later never feel pressure to buy i'm doing these reviews to kind of show you the pieces help you with sizing how the pieces fit feel never to pressure just to give you guys the information you need before making a decision hey if you're not absolutely 100 percent in love with it i wouldn't buy it more is always coming you always know there's gonna be another drop um so i usually make a list of like things that i would be really sad if i didn't snag and they sold out and then things that i'd be okay with not like selling out and being okay with and that's usually how i make my decision but again never feel pressure to shop yeah, let's just get on into the review it's definitely a smaller launch which honestly is kind of a relief because i feel like we've had so many big launches like back to back to back it's been a bit overwhelming so it's nice just to have a little a little launch with nice bright colors for spring and summer colors are very similar to again dream house so for the colors we have candy crush guava my favorite color <laughs> airhead aqua party purple pop rocks white bone cold brew onyx black pink fashion print and blue fashion print and then four fabrics so we have airbrush fabric which is 75 percent nylon 25 percent spandex refined matte finish peak performance compressive fabric four-way stretch high compression sweat wicking and cooling so this is definitely going to be better for higher intensity workouts and then we have the butter fabric which is 81 percent nylon 19 percent spandex and this is that lighter compression brushed ultra soft feel and then it's got a lot of stretch and butter is definitely my favorite fabric they've done it is a little more delicate though keep that in mind and then we have nubri which is their classic that very soft brushed feel very similar to like lululemon fabric that's 74 percent nylon 26 percent spandex light to medium compression double brush second skin feel high stretch retention and then we have sleek flow which is nylon spandex lightweight drapey fab fabric with a sleek shine for an elevated feel so compression level so for the sports bras it says airbrush laser btc sports bra is the highest then the airbrush laser sports bra and then the reversible nubri crop then the girlfriend and then the glow sports bra and i would say that's pretty accurate and then for the shorts it's the legacy short six inch and then the silhouette short six and a half inch and then the sway short from high to low and then legging compression the airbrush laser cut legging is highest yes and then legacy legging and silhouette legging we'll start with legging so i got the airbrush laser cut legging and this comes in onyx black and then party purple the airbrush fabric medium to high compression ultra high rise soft v front waist laser cut design no front rise seams and then a bonded waistband detail designed for high impact cardio so i got this one in extra small and party purple i love a good purple and this has been changed like fabric wise and even design wise from the last airbrush legging so this i believe was elysium which i love i love buff bunny's elysium fabric it holds up so well for higher intensity workouts and this one is the new airbrush so this is just a double lined waistband had decent compression and then the seam in the front went straight there was no like curve and then you had the little cutout holes and there was no like mesh right yeah there was no mesh lining right here so if you had underwear 
that came lower you would see it and then the back just had like this little dip and then on the sides dotted design going down the leg and this new one again different fabric and then still good for perform high performance workouts and it's sweat wicking um, but the waistband this is how I describe it it's very similar to the collagen waistband that like that like floppy fabric um, but it's only in the front. And then it's got, again, a little bit of a different design. So it does kind of curve now. This one didn't have these designs on it, but it does now. And then these sides. Go have that design as well. No front seam. And then the back. This is the normal fabric as the leg. The back right here is not that floppy material like the front. And then it does have a seam at the top right here, which I don't like when legging waist like the waistband of leggings has that like it's fabric and then at the top that little seam i don't know why that's just one of my activewear icks <laughs> um but it does have that and then it's got these seams down here and then it kind of comes to a point kind of similar to this one but i will say this glute seam like where this is from gusset to right here is lower than this one so this one is higher up just the glute area came a little bit lower so i just found it was a little bit more flattering whereas this one for me because again i have short glute short torso so it just comes a little bit higher up and i will say it is high compression so it does pancake my glutes i definitely should have done a small i would say if in between size up in these normally an extra small and buff bunny like is perfect this one i could barely get up my legs <laughs> and the leg area was really tight on. The waistband fit perfect, just the leg area. It's again, a very high compression. So I would say if in between to size up in these leggings. And then a little bit different is the dotted detail kind of goes down the leg right here and then kind of scoops under the glutes on these. Whereas in the old one, it just kind of went down the leg it did so again fabric and like there's a little bit of design difference i do think i preferred the old ones better just i feel like they were more flattering on my glutes they were again a little bit less compressive more true to size but i would have loved this one in this color i just i don't know if i love elysium fabric just personal preference if you're wanting higher intensity workouts this is what it's good for i just don't find it very flattering on my glutes so i probably wouldn't buy any more to be honest again all comes down to personal preference do love this color though and the waistband does snatch you this is is it high rise for me this hit like ultra high rise i'm not gonna lie oh it is ultra high rise yeah okay so it's ultra high rise so for me it hit like legacy like way past my belly button but right here like the waist really did snatch so i do think it tapered in my waist really nice but it just compressed my glutes too much for me um yeah that's the difference between the old airbrush and the new so these leggings run snug i had such a hard time getting these on the fabric still has some stretch, so luckily I was able to pull them up. The waistband doesn't feel too tight. Like, I feel snatched. I feel good. It's the leg area that is tight, kind of restricting back here. Um, again, very hard to get on. So if in between, I would say to size up in these, definitely don't size down. The waistband is very similar to the collagen waistband, how that, like, only way I know how to describe is it like floppy material, like that elastic thick band. It comes, here's my belly button, it comes way past my belly button. The waist, like the front definitely snatches me though, like I, I feel snatched. I do think these will be good performance legging, like I think the material will hold up. It doesn't show sweat, at least for me when I worked out in these. I didn't have any sweat showing. They held up really well. Even when squatting, the waistband does not slide. Um, it's just the leg area that is a little tight. Uh, not the most flattering on the glutes, but... Got the sticker in. So I've got the sticker in. You can slightly see it. But again, it could be because this is running snug, so I'm stretching the fabric more. I'm 5'4", and they hit a little bit above my ankle. I'm not getting any camel toe. I'm not even really getting that much Barbie crotch. 
have the Legacy Legging coming in Candy Crush. I'm not a Legacy Legging girl. I love Candy Crush color though, so I'm bummed that Candy Crush didn't come in like the Silhouette Leggings. But Newbury Fabric, 26 full length inseam, light to medium compression, in my opinion, Legacy is low. Light, the lightest of the light. <laughs> and ultra high rise so for me legacy comes really high up i have a short torso the butterfly back seam and then there is the silhouette legging and this is this will be coming in onyx black cold brew and pop rocks and this is coming in butter fabric 26 full length inseam light compression high rise soft v front waist Top seam elastic and back waistband, glute contouring back waistband detail and contouring glute seam, no front rise seams. So, so I do like these. These are definitely, again, it's butter fabric. It reminds me of like the curve, but there are different tweaks. Like this one is higher rise, whereas the Buff Bunny curve is more mid rise. So it's a little bit shorter in the waistband. This one comes past my belly button. So if you like butter fabric, but want a high rise legging, this is a good option. It separates the cheeks really nice. I do feel like the back seam, again, because it is higher rise, comes up a little, like it is a little bit longer than like curve. So here are the curve. And as you can see, like the glute area is just a lot shorter. So it worked better for me personally, because I, again, have short glutes. So it depends on your preference and honestly, like torso height, glute height. Um, so if you have longer glutes, you'll probably like this better because again, it still goes in the cheeks really nicely. It's still that butter fabric, but it is higher rise and higher up and like longer glute seam. So if you have longer glutes, you'll probably like this better. The, I just prefer the glute seam of the curve better. Also waistband. Um, this one is just double lined. It has the seams right here. There is no top elastic seam right here. Whereas in the back, this one does have that and you guys know i just am not a fan i'm not crazy about it so in the back it has that little seam at the top and then just double lined fabric and then the seams on the side and then curve very similar to again the curve but just higher rise i will say this stays up better than the buff bunny curve like i do not have to readjust or keep pulling up the waist in this at all which i do really like and then we've got this double seam down here and then it comes down the side and kind of i wouldn't i guess it's a glute contour it's basically just a seam that kind of like goes around the glute doesn't really go all the way under seam that goes down the leg and kind of scoops at the calf i also feel like they're pretty squat proof like if you have a tattoo you'll probably see it but new thong you're gonna be okay in this color um also i want to note like i've already worn this and like i did get a little bit of pilling again butter is a more delicate fabric like, i have alaska right here and i don't have that much pilling on it so i don't know if this is just a more delicate color or and then i just like i don't know how i feel like i just don't like the stitching i think of it like it just looks bulky like that little side glute contour like uh, i don't know the 3d silicone tonal logo which i like i definitely like that more than like the other logos they do like this one the silhouette leggings in the pop rocks also wanted to show you can pair it so nicely with the fashion blue fashion print as well guava goes so well with every color in this drop as well it's just one of those colors that you can mix and match with literally anything the waistband is really nice the leg area is really stretchy um i would say lower compression in the leg area but the waistband definitely has more compression than legacy i feel like i have plenty of room in the leg area that i do not think you need to size up in this i would say it's very true to size I'm very comfortable. Nothing feels too tight. Nothing feels too big. I am not getting any camel, but like Barbie crotch. Waistband kind of comes to a slight point. And then again, has the seams right here. No elastic at the front, but it does have the elastic at the top of the band in the back. I do feel like the bikers are more flattering than the leggings. Seams that kind of come down the leg. So I've got the sticker in. And again, I feel like it's pretty squat proof. You can slightly see it. So if you do have a tattoo on your like glutes or thighs, 
I genuinely don't think it'll be that noticeable. When stretched, you might very faintly see it, but I wouldn't stress too much. New thong, you're definitely gonna be fine if you don't have a tattoo. Again, seam kind of comes a little high on me. I wouldn't mind it being even lower, but again, I have short glutes, so if you have longer glutes, you'll probably really like this. Waistband stays put pretty well, a lot better than like the curved leggings. Full length, I believe they're 26 inseam. It's got the side seam right here. Again, it doesn't go all the way under the glutes. It does come higher up though than the curve or even the cross waist leggings. This is definitely high rise, whereas those are a little bit lower, more, more mid rise. And then, so that's all for leggings. Again, only three leggings in this drop. And then we have shorts. We have the Legacy Short in six inch in Candy Crush Party Purple, Airhead Aqua, Blue Fashion Print, Pink Fashion Print. And that's Newbury Fabric, again, in seam is six inch. Medium compression, I feel like it's light. High rise, no front rise seams, sweat wicking finish. So here's the one from Dream House. It had pink, blue, that's what it looks like. And then there are two new fashion print colors in blue and pink. Legacy six inch shorts in blue fashion print. So it's got purple, dark blue, and then this almost like mint color. Three seam butterfly back detail. Not the most flattering on the glutes, I'm not gonna lie. Especially like with the print. I feel like the print kind of like is so busy. It just kind of like hides the glutes. So these aren't like the most glute flattering leggings. I mean shorts. So that's not why I wear them. I'm not like expecting a wagon in these. But they are very comfy. I run my errands in these. Hot girl walks. Lounge. Like they are very very comfy. Nubri is a very soft fabric. And I just love a good biker. I will say these do roll though a little bit. Just because... They're not super compressive, so even when squatting, they do kind of slide up. It's not terrible though, not like four inch shorts. And then just a double lined waistband. The Micro Legacy again are a little bit shorter of a rise and then have no side seam. I would say you can stay true to size in these. I don't feel like you need to size up or down. Six inch, but again, Legacy has like little to no compression. Um, yeah, the waistband, just double line fabric, doesn't really do much, but I do prefer the shorts. They are very comfy. I love running errands in them. I do work out in the shorts, just not the leggings, but I do still have to pull up the waistband a lot when working out in these. They're also not too flattering on the glutes, even though they're bikers. I think this print is making my butt look even smaller. So that's a bit of a bummer. And again, like just like, I have really short glutes. And I'm just getting all this extra fabric. The seams go way past my glutes. So that's why I just personally like lower seams. But I don't wear these in the hopes of making my butt look insanely big. I like to wear them because again, they're very comfy. And I'm just here for a fun print. So these are definitely not gonna be high on the booty scale. They're not gonna make the wag a wagon. <laughs> but they are comfy. Um, Newbury fabric again does show sweat for me, but with this print, I really don't think you're going to notice anything um, because it's so busy. Also, cellulite and squat proofness, I don't think you're going to see anything because again, the print's just definitely distracting to where it kind of hides all of that. Like, yeah, you can't see the sticker. So, new thong, you're going to be 100% fine. Would not stress leg day at all. Pink fashion print, super cute. Again, the exact same. I don't notice fit difference in either of the colors, to be honest. Because the fabrics are so busy, it does kind of hide sheerness, um, cellulite. So I do feel like you, even if you have a tattoo, you shouldn't worry too much about it. Like, I really don't think it'll be that noticeable, even in the light pink. But I'd still recommend new thong. Never get camel or even really like that much Barbie crotch in these, to be honest, because again, they are lower compression. All right, here is the pink fashion print. We've got the sticker in. And again, this print makes it harder to see like sheerness and cellulite. So 
I think with new thong, you're gonna be 100% fine. Even if you have a tattoo, you're only very faintly gonna see it. And even if that, like I, I really don't even see the sticker. And again, the print is so distracting that like, you'll be fine. Again, Legacy is ultra high rise. I have a short torso, so it hits me way past my belly button. Um, I do think I prefer Micro Legacy just because I do have a short torso. Again, Micro Legacy also have no side seam. These have a side seam, and I feel like you can stay true to size in this or even size down because the Legacy, it's just very low compression. Um, just help the waistband stay up better during your workout. So not the most compressive. Definitely not a pair of shorts that I grab for a bloated day personally. But I really like the fashion print. Do the squat test. Even though these are six inch, like they are bikers, they do still slide a little bit because I feel like there's not much compression, so they do move. Not as bad as like the four, so it doesn't really bother me, but it does still happen. And again, I do have to pull up the waistband. And then we have the silhouette short, which is in six and a half inch. And this is coming in on its black cold brew guava. Love her. And pop rocks. Again, butter fabric, inseam is six and a half, lighter compression, it's high rise, it's got a soft V front waist, top seam elastic in the back of the waistband, and then glue contouring back waistband detail. So I got this in pop rocks again. Um should have got this in guava. Definitely feel like these are more flattering than the leggings just cause like something about bikers just make the glutes look so much better. It is again, still higher in the glutes seam than I would like. Like the high rise waistband, just like the glute seam itself, like it goes way past my glutes. So then I just have all this extra fabric right here. So I just feel like that makes my glutes look not as good. Um, but again, it's got that little glute seam going around and then the waistband looks like this top seam top elastic in the back not right here though and then the seams right here the little curve no front seam and then seams that go down they stay put really well i would have loved to see these with a hidden scrunch i hope they do more hidden scrunches than just scrunches in general um, but yeah, I definitely prefer the biker, the silhouette bikers over the silhouette leggings. I feel like they're a lot more flattering. So here are the silhouette shorts in Pop Rocks Extra Small. So, waistband is high rise, so it comes right at my belly button. I really like the height. It's not too high. It is butter fabric. It's very, very comfy. I'm not getting any camel toe, but I am getting a little bit of barbie crotch. Um, does kind of slide, not terrible again, but like when squatting, working out, it does roll. Because it's six inch, when it rolls, it doesn't feel insanely short. Goes in the cheeks real nice. Um, I do feel like it could have been a little bit shorter, but again, I have, I have really short glutes. I hate it. Um, because again, there's just it all the seams always come up a lot past my a lot farther past my glues um, But these are still very flattering for non scrunch. They go in the cheeks so easily and then again, they've got these seams that kind of like Shape the glutes is the camera picking it up like around the sides very very faint really doesn't do that much But it is like a nice little contour detail to add I really like these shorts for being non scrunch. They are definitely flattering and I think this color is pretty squat proof like I really have to be stretching the fabric to very faintly see the sticker so with nude thong you're gonna be okay even if you have a tattoo I feel like you'll very faintly see it but for the most part it's pretty squat proof I would say true to size and then we have the Sway Short in Onyx Black Guava Pop Rocks in the fabric Sleek Flow. Um, outer, outer inseam is one inch and then the liner inseam is four inches. It's light compression, high rise, pockets in the liner short and then sweat wicking finish. I genuinely didn't know how I was gonna feel about this. Like the digital pictures, I was kind of like, and then on, I love her so much. It's got this elastic band, which 
even an extra small like it's not crazy tight so it does kind of slide down a little bit because the shorts right here are more compressive than the waistband so it's kind of like pulling it down a little bit but it still like stays put decently well like it's not just gonna fall off me um but it's very cute it's very fun and flowy perfect for hot girl walks running errands Honestly, you could still you could even lift in it because they are shorts at first I thought it was a skirt and then when I got it I was like, oh These are shorts So you've got like cuz like look it looks like a skirt But it's not it's got like it's it's shorts and then it's got pockets on both sides of the inner liner and I will say like it is really cute, but certain like the ways I stand kind of make the fabric lay a little weird to where it looks like I have a camel toe I don't because it's loose fabric but like it just kind of like lays weird sometimes I still really like it though and then right here it comes up short and then you've got the shorts I kind of want to pick it up in pop rocks because I do like it it is a very cute short and normally I do not gravitate to this stuff because I'm like diaper booty this doesn't give diaper booty and it looks like again a skirt, and I'm a hoe for a skirt. I just think blah blah is that girl and again, it's a sweat wicking, pretty breathable fabric. So if you pickleball, you play tennis, or you like to, honestly, you could probably even run in this. I'm not even kidding. Like, I didn't think I was going to like this. But I am a fan, and I would spend my own money on this. I would say it's true to size. I don't think you need to size up or down. I don't think I'd want to size down because then I feel like the short area would be way too snug. And then I think sizing up the waistband would be a little too big. So I would stick to your normal size in this. So here are the Sway shorts in guava, which is the best color. We'll say it's kind of giving <laughs> camel toe. I don't have camel toe because obviously it's loose, but like the way it kind of lays, <laughs> I don't know. I kind of wish it was a skirt rather than shorts because then I wouldn't have that issue. Um, yeah. Um, this color though, she is everything. An elastic band. I'm wearing extra small. She fits good. She does kind of slide a little bit. I think it's because the shorts are more compressive, so it's kind of pulling it down a bit. And then we've got pockets on both sides. So I really like that. I think, especially paired as this, like this set, it is very fun, very cute. Hot girl walk. The back, she's actually kind of cute. <laughs> she's good. Um, but again, it's just so fun. And then right here, it's like different layers. So but yeah, but yeah. Um, I'll pop in, what are the measurements? I believe the shorts are four inch underneath, four and a half, five inch. So not too long, like you can't really see except from the side, the shorts. And then like obviously if you bend over, gotta pick up my bush, you're covered. And then you're seeing nothing. I feel like it's it's giving skirt, but also like, they're, oh, <laughs> ow, something popped. But they're short, so you're good. And then we have bras. We have the Glow Sports bra, and this is coming in Pop Rocks, Guava, White, Cold Brew, and Black. Butter fabric, short line, itty bitty titty committee friendly, light support, twist front detail, strappy back. Um, I love this bra. This is definitely my favorite bra, this drop. It's so much better than the twist front, and I kind of like it better than the double twist front. I stuck to an extra small and I do think you can stay to your normal size or if you're larger chested size up for a little bit of extra coverage and room. It's still very low support. It does have removable cups, which I like. And then I don't know, I just feel like it, I feel more in place than I do with like the twist bra because the straps fall down. Whereas this one, like again, they cross over, so they're not going anywhere, they're not falling down. And I just feel like it's a daintier look then the double twist bra, like that back, like I just prefer this back on it. 
probably the same level of support and coverage as that one. So if you like that bra, I do genuinely think you will like this one as well. This one reminds me of Crop Shop Boutique and I'm a hoe for their bras. So I really, really like this one. The straps fit me perfect. I don't feel like they need to be tightened. I don't feel like they're too tight or too loose. I do wish though that they it was adjustable just in because I feel like adjustable straps just make a bra fit more people better. And then it's got the two crossover straps in the back and then the 3D silicone tonal logo, which I love. I love that they're doing tonal logos. And then again, it twists in the front. The fabrics are different, so the colors are a little bit different, but I honestly really like it. This is hand, <laughs> who would have thought a flowy skirt would be my favorite set? Not me. This. Guava set is literally my favorite thing. This drop, hands down. Like, she's just perfect for summer, no matter the occasion. I'm here for it. And honestly, I'd even like, I don't, not that I go out to clubs anymore. <laughs> Maybe in my bed. But like, old me would have worn this with some boots and a cute crop and worn it out to the club. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Extra small, it's got twist front. Honestly? This might be my favorite twist bra they've done so far. Like, it's still low support, but I just feel like the, it's a lot better than the twist bra that has the straps that come straight back because again, even with the tweaks, it still doesn't fit perfect. But the crossover straps, like they're so comfy. They're not adjustable, but they fit me perfect. And you've got, again, the crossover detail. Super cute for upper body. It is, again, still low support, but, like, I feel like it definitely comes in a little bit more than the girlfriend bra. The other one, like, those are way too wide, but I feel like I have enough boob coverage. There's not a ton of annoying fabric in my armpit, and I just feel like this is a little bit more secure than, again, the other twist bra. And maybe it's because of the guava i don't know but i am just obsessed i freaking love this color and this is definitely a bra that i'm gonna rebuy in more colors because she's cute she's dainty um but again if you are larger chested just know it's gonna be equal support as all like both the double twist bra or the twist no probably a little bit more support than the normal twist bra because again the straps cross over so you have a little bit of extra support um but it's still pretty much the same Butter fabric though, so she's just, again, buttery smooth. Does have removable cups, which I am so happy about. You guys know I need removable cups. We have the Girlfriend Sports Bra in Nubri fabric, short line, itty bitty titty committee friendly, medium compression, no bust pads, reversible and embroidered B logo. So this comes in onyx black, white. Party purple, and then the other side will be Pop Rocks, Candy Crush, and the other side is Pink Fashion, and then Air Hit Aqua, and then the other side is Blue Fashion. So, last drop that this came out with, the Boyfriend Drop, I got an extra small. This bra did not work for me. I did not like it. It was way too wide. Um, like, I kid you not, just wearing it and standing, my nipple was popping out. Like, I just, I guess I have one, I'm flat chested. <laughs> you see that door you see that wall that's me but and then i guess i have like a narrow rib cage i don't have like a wide chest so it was way too wide like the v front like way too wide i had more armpit coverage than boob coverage so i just really didn't like it and again it didn't have cup heads but it's reversible so it's not like they can put them in there um, so I understand that. So I was like, okay, this launch, I'm gonna size down to an extra extra small. Maybe that will help. Maybe it won't be as wide. It was still just as wide, just tighter. <laughs> so this bra just ultimately is not for me, doesn't work for my body type. So I probably will not be picking this up anymore. Just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it's gonna, it's not gonna work for everyone. Like someone who has a wider chest will probably this probably fits them fine so this just isn't a bra that personally works for my body so i yeah i don't like it um love this color though but yeah the v front like even when sizing down it's just way too wide um digs into my armpit uncomfortably but then like if i bend over i feel like my nipple is literally out little elastic band so again very very low support like very low aqua color which is a little bit more of like a minty color than aqua dreams from the dream house and then on the inside again you can wear it reversible is the blue fashion print 
and then the back just looks like this it's very similar honestly to the glow bra the little straps that cross over and then the two straps in the back but i just feel like this one is not as wide so it works better for me also i love the removable cups so i just personally prefer this one over this one also this one doesn't twist like the glow bra it's just like that okay so i'm really sad that sizing down still didn't help with this bra like it's just way too wide for my body personally i have quite i'm small chested um i guess i'm more narrow like i'm more narrow right here so it just doesn't work for me it's way too wide like this. i had the extra small and it was still it was way too wide the extra extra small is still way too wide it digs into my armpit i have more armpit coverage than my boob my nipple feels like it's literally about to pop out um this right here feels tighter though but this bra just personally doesn't work for me if you have a if you have a wider chest i think it'll work better for you um i do think you can size down if you want it more fitted because even the extra extra small doesn't feel too tight but it is very low support and if you don't have a wide like chest i do think your boobs are going to be literally falling out the back is cute though, very cute minimal bra. It is a bummer because it is cute, but I now know not to pick up this bra anymore. I personally like to see it come in a little bit more. Like, can I get some actual boob coverage, please? I love this color, Aqua, and here it is paired with the fashion print shorts. Absolutely stunning. But yeah, this bra is just gonna have to be a wear when doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Then we have the reversible Newbury crop, which is very similar to the girlfriend bra. Um, just a little bit longer lined. This will be coming in Onyx Black and White, Cold Brew Bone, Candy Crush Pink Fashion Print, Newbury Fabric, Long Line, IBTC and BTC friendly, reversible inside out, no bust pads, V neckline, under bust keyhole. So I got an extra small on this one in the Candy Crush. Still very similar to the girlfriend way too wide <laughs> way too wide for me so just standing i genuinely feel like a nipple is going to pop out um it's not as bad as the girlfriend but again very very similar there's only a little bit of extra like coverage right here um i do like that it is longer lined so again if you are larger chested it'll probably work better for you because i know like you'd probably get a lot of like under boob like if you raised your arm and like we're doing upper body it would probably slide up and then give you under boob whereas with this one you do have that extra coverage so even if it does slide up a little bit i don't think you would get under boob in this obviously like right here you're gonna see some clavage the straps are not adjustable very similar to the girlfriend bra and then has four straps that cross over in the back and then again, this little keyhole detail is reversible, so there's no removable cups, new brief fabric. That's the main difference between the two, but I would say stick to the same size you get in this one and this one as well. And it's gonna have the same, like same fit. Basically just this one has a little bit more coverage at the bottom, it's a little bit longer line. I got an extra small. Um, very similar, I would say, to the girlfriend bra in terms of a little too wide for me personally. And I'm getting a lot of uncomfortable fabric in my armpit. Yeah, a lot of bras like this just don't work for me because they make them way too wide. And then you've got all this fabric in the boob and I just have small boobs and more narrow right here. If you are, again, if wider chested um i do think this will work for you straps are really nice though like they feel really good it's just i if i don't think i would want to wear this to the gym because the whole time i'm going to be making sure a nipple doesn't pop out because it's literally on the verge i do like how this one has a little bit more coverage so if you like the girlfriend bra design but you want more coverage, I do think this is a better option. Very cute, it's got this little cutout detail. Still very low support. Still equally as low support as girlfriend. It's just now maybe like, but it's just now you probably won't have to worry as much about like your bottom boob showing or like the bra lifting up because you've got this extra fabric. And the straps are not adjustable. They're very similar to the girlfriend, just with a little bit of extra 
straps down here that cross over. From Bra and this one do not come with removable cups because they are reversible. I threw some cups in there. I, my biggest <laughs> ick when it comes to like stuff is when it doesn't have removable cups. I just like, I need them. Like I do not like wearing bras without them. So I would have liked to have like at least the insert, but I guess, no, they couldn't do it in this bra. So that makes sense because then if you flip the side to wear the fashion print, you then ha see it. So I understand, but like, I still pop them in here, but if I were to work out, I'd be a little nervous that like the cup would all of a sudden start showing. But this is cake pop, and then again, inside is the pink fashion print, and I'm pairing it with the fashion print shorts. But yeah, bending over, nerve-wracking. Back is very comfy though, nothing's digging in, except for the armpit area. And then we have the airbrush laser sports bra in onyx black party purple white airbrush fabric light to medium compression beige lining to showcase laser cut detail strappy back ibtc friendly removable pads and then laser cut detail i didn't get this one but i do have it in eggplant from a while ago i wanted to get the new one the btc not that i am but just to kind of review and show you guys what it would look like on someone with like new boobs so I got the Airbrush Laser BTC in Party Purple, but it's also coming in Onyx Black and White, Airbrush Fabric Medium Line, BTC Friendly Medium to High Support, Beige Lining to Showcase Laser Cut Detail, Built-in Molded Bus Pads, Not Removable, and then Strap Adjusters and Back Hem Strap Closure. So I got Party Purple Extra Small, and it does come with an, an extender for the clasp back here. You can add that to it to make it a little bit bigger if needed. I do feel like this one runs a little bit snug, so I wouldn't size down. If anything, if you're in between, I would say go up versus down in this bra 100. So it has the cutout details, um, but the placement kind of like goes under the boobs. And again, it's molded cup and it does come out. So I definitely think if you are larger chested, this will work great for you. Very high support on me, but again, I'm flat chested. So molded cups. And then it's got this like elastic band at the bottom. And then in the back is that same material as like the collagen fabric, the like waistband that like floppy fabric. That's the best way I know how to describe it. floppy and then you've got that bra clasp and then the back has adjustable straps and the straps again that same material it's not like the candy wrap elastic straps and they are again these are a little bit thinner but they are adjustable the silicone logo and then again it's got the like nude lining underneath so it's not like that's your skin you're gonna see it's just the molded it's a molded cup with like foam these cutout details but it's got again you can't see it so it's not see-through adjustable strap and then the back has like a bra clasp and then a cutout keyhole detail with razor back straps again are adjustable it's got a thicker band at the bottom which is snug I definitely wouldn't size down in this bra for me, this is very high support. Um, not personally my cup of tea. Like I don't really gravitate to molded bras, but that's again because I have literally no boobs, no need for it. And then again, these straps are thick elastic straps, a little different from the candy wrap straps. Like the material is more similar to this little, how I describe it, floppy waistband, kind of like on the collagen leggings. Love party purple. Um, yeah has good coverage nothing is digging in gaping nothing feels too wide and it's got the cutout details all throughout and then details on the side as well and we have the the legacy bodysuit in six inch in onyx black cold brew bone and pop rock newbury fabric six inch inseam medium compression adjustable straps removable bus pads tri arch glute seam back detail no front rise seam sweat wicking finish thank goodness they gave us a pop of color in this because i would have been real mad if we only had neutrals again like 
Justice for Bend and Snap dress for only coming in neutrals. We should have got one pop of color in that. So I'm glad they gave us pop rocks. I would have loved to have seen this in the Candy Crush, the Guava, because I do really, really like this bodysuit. Now I sized down in this to an extra, extra small because in the Discord, the girlies were saying that like it, who had tried it on were saying they felt it ran a little big. And you guys know me. I want it to be tight. I want to be snatched. And I know Legacy in general, in my opinion, has low compression. So I was like, hmm. just to be safe, I'm going to size down because if the waist wasn't fitted, I would have been disappointed. And I know I can do an extra, extra small on the Vitality jumpsuit. And I would say this design is very, very similar. The fabric is very, very similar. The fit is very, very similar. So if you haven't tried anything from Buff Bunny, but maybe you've tried the vitality jumpsuit i would say you can stick to whatever size you get in that in this waistband oh they have the side seams um yeah this is the vitality one and again it comes to a point in the waist and then has the side seams back here and is v front has removable cups and then the back comes to that like deep point but the material very very similar and you guys know like I love my Vitality jumpsuits. So when they did this one, I was so excited. I, I'm not a fan of the Ivy one just because I, it's too much coverage. <laughs> I need some cleavage, I need the back showing, you know, something. So I don't have that one to compare, but fabric I believe is the same. I'm still very happy I sized down because it's not too tight anywhere. Like I still have good room. It doesn't feel like I'm being squished in, but the waist is actually snatching me. I feel like it's like giving the illusion of a smaller waist. Like I'm just very, very comfortable in it. And again, these straps are adjustable. Got this little scoop in the back and I'm very happy that it's not as low as the corset. Don't get me wrong. Like I love the low backs and like it was flattering, but like, it showed my underwear. It wasn't practical. It kind of annoyed me. So I'm glad it came up a little bit higher so I don't have to worry about my underwear showing. It makes it more practical to wear to like Disney. I don't know. I haven't been in Disney World, but no theme park stuff. So I don't know. Wherever you go in the summer, your activities, your hog walks, your grocery store, it's a little more modest. And again, it's six inches. So I love a good biker jumpsuit. I'm very happy that it's longer. I but my favorite Buff Bunny jumpsuit is still Dream Heathered. I just feel like that one is a little bit more compressive and snatches. Um, but I do wish that one came in a biker. So I do love that this is a six inch. And it's kind of like a squarish neckline. Very, very flattering. And then you've got the seam in the front, kind of like Vitality, that comes to a point that I just feel like really snatches the waist in perfectly no front seam and then again like the legacy you've got the butterfly back i do feel like this glute seam is lower than like the legacy shorts itself which i like i think it makes it a little bit more flattering this goes in the cheek so nicely a lot easier than like legacy so this is definitely something i'm going to repurchase in bone i definitely wish they would have done more bright colors because i would have bought every single one i definitely think this is worth it i am very very happy they came out with this i think it's so dang cute and it snatches really nice so i would say true to size if in between if you're like me and you really want it to snatch you you can size down in this and it'll fit just fine again i like a snatch fit the straps don't dig in at all. It does have removable cups, thank goodness. No built-in like shelf bra though. It's just like the removable cups. Nothing feels too tight. Again, in my opinion, legacy. Anything really legacy isn't super compressive. So this kind of fits like an extra small in my opinion. Not even as snug as my dream heathered bodysuit. So if you do want it to be more snatched, I definitely think you can get away with sizing down. And again, I like that these straps are adjustable. I do have them tightened a little bit, um, but nothing's still digging in. The leg area, not like, obviously it's fitted, but it's not like it's digging in right here. I'm getting like the Barbie crotch, but it's not even that bad. Like it's very, very comfortable. These feel like my extra small legacy bikers, just again with a top attached. I love the seam right here. It reminds me of the Shot Vitality 
jumpsuit how it has that seam right here again it's very similar material to shop vitality i think i do like that this one has the adjustable straps whereas the vitality ones i have do not have adjustable straps they stay put really well they cross over in the back and then you've got this little open detail and i like that it's not too low like the corset bodysuit because the corset bodysuit showed my underwear and i just wasn't a fan like yeah it was flattering but it just wasn't practical so I think this one gives a much better coverage while still being flattering. These are definitely more flattering than I would say the Legacy leggings or bikers to be honest. Like, I don't know, something about them do like, I think the glutes look pretty dang good. Obviously if they had a scrunch, it'd be even better. Um, but I've got these sticker in. I think this color and bone are definitely gonna be the most sheer. New thong, you're gonna be okay in these. If you have a tattoo though, you will probably slightly see it when really stretched. Sizing up might help with that too. This is something I would definitely work out in. New brief fabric for me it does slightly show sweat though. I definitely want to buy the bone. I think the Dream Heather bodysuit, if you have that one, that one is a little bit more compressive than this one. It's a different fabric as well. I feel like this one isn't as compressive but still snatches the waist. I love both. I think I prefer the seam details and like the overall design of Dream. This is going to be perfect for summer running errands, going to, I don't know, a theme park, going for a bike ride. Like I will definitely get my use out of this. A seam down here, along the leg, no front seam, nothing is digging in. Um, doesn't feel too low and again, I can't adjust the straps. I'm so happy we got this in a bright instead of neutral. All right, it is now time for the color comparisons. So we will start with Party Purple. So here is the Party Purple. And then here, next to the Party Purple but Nubri fabric, it's pretty identical. I know certain fabrics can make the colors look really different, but these two look the same. Acai Purple, Lotus, Lavender Haze, eggplant and then we have eggplant but in the bbl seamless legging vanity and those are all my purples <laughs> i don't have that many buff bunny purples candy crush the solid color miami bossy print the fashion print from last dream house oh i can't remember miami vice no can't remember the name of this one. It's the reversible one. It's pink. And then on the inside is an even lighter pink. And then we have Terracotta to Candy Crush. Vinyl Miami Vice from Dream House. And I believe this one is Sugar Plum. Yeah. This one is Sugar Plum. Mirage. Cake Pop BBL. Pink Lights. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Then we have Lover's Pink. And we have, oh, I can't, Sugar, I don't know, it's the, it's the spiced pink jacket. But next to the other new colors, so Candy Crush to Pop Rocks, Guava, Party Purple, Pink Fashion Print. And then to the new Aqua. All right, next we'll do, I guess, the Pink Fashion Print to Pharaoh. Pink Lights, another super cute mix and match. Mirage, Sugar Plum, Vinyl Pink, Terracotta, Dream House Fashion Print, Miami Bossy Print, and then again, I can't remember the Miami Vice, I feel like that's really wrong, but it's the reversible one, so you can definitely mix and match. This one went on either side, and it's super cute. And then Cake Pop, Pink, Lover's Pink, super cute as well. The Spice Jacket in Pink, Guava, Pop Rocks, Party Purple, Aqua. Now we'll do Guava, the Spiced Jacket, Lover's Pink, Terracotta, Miami Bossy Print, Dreamhouse Fashion Print, Vinyl Pink, Sugar Plum, Mirage, and Guava. So cute together. Pink Lights, and then the reversible one. 
Pharaoh, Pharaoh, <laughs> cake pop pink, guava to peach rings. All right, and then we have Pop Rocks, but I'm gonna be comparing this to pinks and purples since it's kind of that in-between. Pop Rocks, Party Purple, Vanity, Eggplant BBL, Eggplant, Synergy Fabric, was is that what this was? Lavender Haze, Lotus, Acai Purple in the BBL, Cake Pop in the BBL, Faro, the reversible pink lights, Mirage, Sugar Plum, Vinyl Pink, Old Dreamhouse Fashion Print, Miami Bossy Print, Terracotta, Lover's Pink, Super Cute Color Combo, the Pink Spiced Jacket, Airhead. This one does not match. The Aqua from Dreamhouse, but that is because this is called the Airhead, I believe, not Aqua. This is Dreamhouse Aqua to the new Airhead. I feel like the camera is not picking up, but this definitely has more green undertone to it than the Dreamhouse Aqua. So, I mean, it's, I don't know if I can wear it together. I definitely wear the fashion print side with this, but this one definitely is a lot more green. Again, I feel like the lighting is not showing it. If I can pop a close-up photo, I will. And then we have H2O. Sorry, Airhead to Jean Genie. Barista Blue. Alaska. Moody Blue. Blue Bubbles. The Seamless Aqua. This is from the Storm Drop. I really can't remember the color, but it's the ones with a little shimmer to it. The Double Mint or Mint, something like that. It was from... I can't remember, it was a really old one. Like I would say this has a little bit more blue to it. This is definitely more green. Nile, Enchanted Teal, Rainwater, Fashion Print. Now we're gonna do the blue fashion print to the blues. Enchanted Teal, Rainwater Blue, Double Mint, Mint, something. Nile, the Seamless Aqua, Blue Bubbles, Moody Blue, Alaska, Barista Blue, H2O would be super cute with this. Then the Dreamhouse Aqua. Again, we have scrunchies in white, party purple, candy crush, pop rocks, airhead aqua, pink fashion print, and blue fashion print. A dad hat in white. I completely forgot to end off this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. Shoot me a DM. Again, lunch is happening May 18th at 1 p.m. CST. Code Bailey will save you money on your order. It'll save you 10%. It does help support me. So if you do use it, make sure to screenshot. Let me know so I can personally say thank you and to enter my monthly giveaway. I love doing my monthly giveaways as a way to express how truly grateful I am for y'all's support. So it really does mean a lot. So yeah, I'll have that link down below. I hope this video was helpful. Me and Kika say goodbye. Say bye, Kika. Say bye.